Everything you should know about the 2019 coronavirus and COVID-19. What is the 2019 coronavirus? In early 2020, a new virus began generating headlines all over the world because of the unprecedented speed of its transmission. Its origins have been traced to a food market in Wuhan, China, in December 2019. From there, it's reached countries as distant as the United States and the Philippines. The virus, officially named SARS-CoV-2, has been responsible for millions of infections globally, causing hundreds of thousands of deaths. The United States is the country most affected. The disease caused by an infection with SARS-CoV-2 is called COVID-19, which stands for coronavirus disease in 2019. In spite of the global panic in the news about this virus, you're unlikely to contract SARS-CoV-2 unless you've been in contact with someone who has a SARS-CoV-2 infection. Let's bust some myths. Read on to learn how this coronavirus is transmitted, how it's similar to and different from other coronaviruses, how to prevent transmitting it to others. If you suspect you've contracted this virus, Healthline's coronavirus coverage stay informed with our live updates about the current COVID-19 outbreak. Also, visit our coronavirus hub for more information on how to prepare, advice on prevention and treatment, and expert recommendations. What are the symptoms? Doctors are learning new things about this virus every day. So far, we know that COVID-19 may not initially cause any symptoms for some people. You may carry the virus for two days or up to two weeks trusted source before you notice symptoms. Some common symptoms that have been specifically linked to COVID-19 include Shortness of breath a cough that gets more severe over time a low-grade fever that gradually increases in temperature fatigue less common symptoms include Chills repeated shaking with chills sore throat headache muscle aches and pains loss of taste loss of smell these symptoms may become more severe in some people Call emergency medical services if you or someone you care for have any of the following symptoms Trouble breathing blue lips or face persistent pain or pressure in the chest confusion excessive drowsiness the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC trusted source is still investigating the full list of symptoms COVID-19 versus the flu, we're still learning about whether the 2019 coronavirus is more or less deadly than the seasonal flu. This is difficult to determine because the number of total cases, including mild cases in people who don't seek treatment or get tested, is unknown. However, early evidence suggests that this coronavirus causes more deaths than seasonal flu. An estimated 0.04 to 0.2% trusted source of people who developed the flu during the 2019-2020 flu season in the United States died as of April 4, 2020. This is compared to about 6% of those with a confirmed case of COVID-19 in the United States, according to the trusted source. Here are some common symptoms of the flu. Cough runny or stuffy nose sneezing sore throat fever headache fatigue chills body aches what causes coronaviruses. Coronaviruses are zoonotic. This means they first develop in animals before being transmitted to humans. For the virus to be transmitted from animals to humans, a person has to come into close contact with an animal that carries the infection. Once the virus develops in people, coronaviruses can be transmitted from person to person through respiratory droplets. This is a technical name for the wet stuff that moves through the air when you cough, sneeze or talk. The viral material hangs out in these droplets and can be breathed into the respiratory tract, your windpipe and lungs, where the virus can then lead to an infection. It's possible that you could acquire SARS-CoV-2 if you touch your mouth, nose, or eyes after touching a surface or object that has the virus on it. However, this is not thought to be the main way that the virus spreads the 2019 coronavirus hasn't been definitively linked to a specific animal. Researchers believe that the virus may have been passed from bats to another animal either snakes or pangolins, and then transmitted to humans. This transmission likely occurred in the open food market in Wuhan, China. Who's at increased risk? You're at high risk for contracting SARS-CoV-2 if you come into contact with someone who's carrying it, especially if you've been exposed to their saliva or been near them when they've coughed, sneezed, or talked. Without taking proper preventive measures, you're also at high risk if you Live with someone who has contracted the virus are providing home care for someone who has contracted the virus, have an intimate partner who has contracted the virus, hand washing is key washing your hands and disinfecting surfaces can help decrease your risk of contracting this and other viruses. Older adults and people with certain health conditions have a higher risk of severe complications if they contract the virus. These health conditions include trusted source.
Serious heart conditions, such as heart failure, coronary artery disease, or cardiomyopathies kidney disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, obesity, which occurs in people with a body mass index, BMI, of 30 or higher sickle cell disease, a weakened immune system from a solid organ transplant type 2 diabetes pregnant women, have a higher risk of complications from other viral infections, but it's not yet known if this is the case with COVID-19. The trusted source states that pregnant people seem to have the same risk of contracting the virus as adults who aren't pregnant. However, the CDC also notes that those who are pregnant are at greater risk of getting sick from respiratory viruses, compared to those who aren't pregnant. Transmitting the virus from mother to child during pregnancy isn't likely, but the newborn is able to contract the virus after birth. How are coronaviruses diagnosed? COVID-19 can be diagnosed similarly to other conditions caused by viral infections using a blood, saliva, or tissue sample. However, most tests use a cotton swab to retrieve a sample from the inside of your nostrils. The CDC, some state health departments, and some commercial companies conduct tests. See your state's health department website trusted source to find out where testing is offered near you. On April 21, 2020, the Food and Drug Administration FDA trusted source, approved the use of the first COVID-19 home testing kit. Using the cotton swab provided, people will be able to collect a nasal sample and mail it to a designated laboratory for testing. The emergency use authorization specifies that the test kit is authorized for use by people whom healthcare professionals have identified as having suspected COVID-19. Talk to your doctor right away if you think you have COVID-19 or you notice symptoms. Your doctor will advise you on whether you should stay home and monitor your symptoms come into the doctor's office to be evaluated go to the hospital for more urgent care what treatments are available? There's currently no treatment specifically approved for COVID-19 and no cure for an infection, although treatments and vaccines are currently under study. Instead, treatment focuses on managing symptoms as the virus runs its course. Seek medical help if you think you have COVID-19. Your doctor will recommend treatment for any symptoms or complications that develop and let you know if you need to seek emergency treatment. Other coronaviruses like SARS and MERS are also treated by managing symptoms. In some cases, experimental treatments have been tested to see how effective they are. Examples of therapies used for these illnesses include antiviral or retroviral medications breathing support, such as mechanical ventilation steroids to reduce lung swelling blood plasma transfusions, what are the possible complications from COVID-19? The most serious complication of COVID-19 is a type of pneumonia that's been called 2019 novel coronavirus infected pneumonia NCIP. Results from a 2020 study of 138 people admitted into hospitals in Wuhan, China, with NCIP, found that 26% of those admitted had severe cases and needed to be treated in the intensive care unit ICU. About 4.3% of the people who were admitted to the ICU died from this type of pneumonia. It should be noted that people who were admitted to the ICU were on average older and had more underlying health conditions than people who didn't go to the ICU. So far, NCIP is the only complication specifically linked to the 2019 coronavirus. Researchers have seen the following complications in people who have developed COVID-19. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, irregular heart rate, arrhythmia, cardiovascular shock, severe muscle pain, myalgia, fatigue, heart damage or heart attack, multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children, MIS-C, also known as a pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome, PMIS. How can you prevent coronaviruses? The best way to prevent the transmission of infection is to avoid or limit contact with people who are showing symptoms of COVID-19 or any respiratory infection. The next best thing you can do is practice good hygiene and physical distancing to prevent bacteria and viruses from being transmitted. Prevention tips wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds at a time with warm water and soap. How long are 20 seconds? About as long as it takes to sing your ABCs. Don't touch your face, eyes, nose, or mouth when your hands are dirty. Don't go out if you're feeling sick or have any cold or flu symptoms. Stay at least 6 feet trusted source, 2 meters, away from people. Cover your mouth with a tissue or the inside of your elbow whenever you sneeze or cough. Throw away any tissues you use right away. Clean any objects you touch a lot. Use disinfectants on objects like phones, computers, and doorknobs. Use open water for objects that you cook or eat with, like utensils and dishware. Should you wear a mask? 
If you're out in a public setting where it's difficult to follow physical distancing guidelines, the trusted source recommends that you wear a cloth face mask that covers your mouth and nose. When worn correctly, and by large percentages of the public, these masks can help to slow the transmission of SARS-CoV-2. That's because they can block the respiratory droplets of people who may be asymptomatic or people who have the virus, but have gone undiagnosed. Respiratory droplets get into the air when you exhale talk cough sneeze you can make your own mask using basic materials such as a bandana a t-shirt cotton fabric the cdc provides instructions trusted source for making a mask with scissors or with a sewing machine cloth masks are preferred for the general public since other types of masks should be reserved for healthcare workers it's critical to keep the mask clean wash it after each time you use it avoid touching the front of it with your hands also, try to avoid touching your mouth, nose, and eyes when you remove it. This prevents you from possibly transferring the virus from a mask to your hands and from your hands to your face. Keep in mind that wearing a mask isn't a replacement for other preventive measures, such as frequent hand washing and practicing physical distancing. All of them are important. Certain people shouldn't wear face masks, including children under two years old people who have trouble breathing people who are unable to remove their own masks what are the other types of coronaviruses a coronavirus gets its name from the way it looks under a microscope the word corona means crown when examined closely the round virus has a crown of proteins called peplomers jutting out from its center in every direction these proteins help the virus identify whether it can infect its host the condition known as a severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS, was also linked to a highly infectious coronavirus back in the early 2000s the sars virus has since been contained covid 19 versus sars this isn't the first time a coronavirus has made the news the 2003 sars outbreak was also caused by a coronavirus as with the 2019 virus the sars virus was first found in animals before it was transmitted to humans the SARS virus is thought to have come from bats trusted source and was transferred to another animal and then to humans. Once transmitted to humans, the SARS virus began spreading quickly among people. What makes the new coronavirus so newsworthy is that a treatment or cure hasn't yet been developed to help prevent its rapid transmission from person to person. SARS has been successfully contained. What's the outlook? First and foremost, don't panic. You don't need to be quarantined unless you suspect you have contracted the virus or have a confirmed test result. Following simple hand washing and physical distancing guidelines are the best ways to help protect yourself from being exposed to the virus. The 2019 coronavirus probably seemed scary when you read the news about new deaths, quarantines, and travel bans. Stay calm and follow your doctor's instructions if you're diagnosed with COVID-19, so you can recover and help prevent it from being transmitted.